Hello and welcome to College Spotlight Saturday. Today I am conscious that tomorrow is Easter Sunday, so my research this week took me to find schools with a spiritual component. When it comes to Catholic communities, there are secular, private, and public schools that have Catholic Newman centers. And then there are Catholic colleges. Best Colleges Review ranked the top 50 Newman centers. Ranked number one is St. John's Newman Center at the University of Illinois Urbana-Champaign. This place sounds like a city into itself. The St. John Newman's Hall facility includes housing, dining, fitness center, study lounges, and a library. <laughs> Students at the center are describe this as a tight-knit community with vibrant social activities, Bible studies, faith formation, retreats, academic le lectures, and so much more. Best Colleges also conducted research to find the 45 best college holiday events Coming in at number one, I found Seton Hall. What caught my attention more than the Christmas events is a tradition started by a former nursing student. Hillary, in 2013, celebrated her 21st birthday by conducting 21 acts of kindness. And her selfless acts sparked the community to do the same during the Christmas season. What I love about this tradition is that you do not have to be Catholic or Christian to offer the world simple acts of kindness. Here are a few suggestions found on Seton Hall's website. Write a thank you note to mom and dad, donate blood, pick up trash you see on the street, help an elderly person load groceries into the car, walk the dogs at the local animal shelter, or send a holiday card to a soldier overseas. In my experience, I have found that when students are developing their list of colleges, they begin with their head. Who do I know that went there? What majors do they offer? Where is the college located? The truth is this. You, might, you may make your list based on your head, but you will ultimately choose your college based on your heart. And so, how do I feel why do I feel this way this comes so much later in the process, but it really should come at the front end. So if your spiritual journey is important to you, take the time to research what is offered and know how you feel about that campus. Okay, get out a pen and paper. I want to share with you what I learned about Seton Hall at my recent visit. First of all, it's located in South Orange, New Jersey, and it's a diocesan Catholic University. It's home to 5,800 undergraduate students represented all from all 50 states. Worth noting is that SHU is 14 miles to New York City. It's just a 30 minute train ride away. Okay, three impressive and compelling things that I want you to take note of. First, 81%, eight out of every 10 students will complete at least one career related internship. Seeing Hall is ranked in the top five by International Business Times for undergraduate internships alongside Duke and Penn. Seton Hall has a 20% higher job placement rate than the national average. Parents, you should love this. This should be music to your ears. Not only do you want them to go and graduate from college, but you want them to have a job after graduation. Second, the Stillman School of Business is ranked number eight for return on investment by Bloomberg Business Week. The school is home to the Gerald Bussino Center for Leadership Development, which was recently ranked number one for the third year in a row by LEAD Awards. LEAD recognizes the world's top leadership programs committed to developing leaders. Hundreds of programs apply to this prestigious award every year. Third, Seton Hall seems to have a robust and aggressive merit and need-based financial aid program with over $83 million given out each year. In order to be eligible for the merit-based aid, your application must be filed by December 15th. Private colleges are often taken off the list too prematurely because of the sticker shock, but my visit last week proved to me that you need to really take a look and ask questions. Seton Hall offers a merit scholarship known as public tuition rate, which takes off $23,000 off your total bill for four years. I believe this little gem is on the move and you need to take a look. 
Thank you for tuning in today. You can follow me on Twitter at Dr. Cynthia Colon. Be sure to hit like if you learned something today and share this video with friends and or tag someone in the comments. A huge shout out to Tara Hart, Wendy, and Father John Dennehy at Seton Hall who welcomed me and hosted me last week. Thank you for all you do. Students see you here for Better Me Mondays. Parents and supporters see you here for Better We Wednesdays. Remember, together we are fueling confidence and building dreams. Wherever you are, may you have a happy and sunny day. Bye-bye.